us when we enjoy the sound Come break away the walls of pride that surround Because only Jesus you can tear it down To these offerings that we bring you mean a thing if we only want to glorify our names We chase titles that are far from holy ground If we're not building you an altar, tear it down Tear it down Say we want a revival in our land Yet our churches stand divided by our brands If the orphans and the widow are on a mission Then help us, Jesus, you can You're the only sacrifice we'll need And there is no power of hell that you'll allow Cause Jesus, when you tore the veil, you tore it down When you tore the veil, you tore it down Man, last year, I think, was where I think this thought really came to be, I, I would say. Um, man, COVID season was tough for for me personally, and I, and I can kind of feel that for a lot of worship leaders and um, people that were maybe sidelined. Um, and I think we talked about this before, but like, it's something I would have never admitted to, or even probably known that this was in me, but it really, it really hurt. It hurt to be, you know, put aside and you don't want to admit that you're attributing your worth to what you do. You want to attribute to who you are in God, but yet I think it revealed some things in me and it birthed this, this thought of really of where my motivations come from within my worship leading even. And, uh, you know, God is sovereign and I believe he uses every situation for our good. And and this in particular for me, this song was birthed. I just realized there was a lot of selfishness rooted in, uh, perhaps my worship and, um, 
it's one of these things that's a really hard thing to pinpoint. I think that's what Satan does. He uses tactics of half truths to uh, kind of manipulate us to, to wanting to do something for God, but then we take a little bit for ourselves. But what that actually is, is called embezzling the glory of God. And that I think is probably one of the most dangerous tactics that Satan has thrown at us recently in the modern church culture of worship. Um, I think we see a lot of success that has happened in, in you know, big churches or uh, different groups, which is nothing inherently wrong if the motivation was pure. But I think that we see that there's something to go after. And so this song really was just a personal introspective look within and asking God just to tear out anything that's impure. And um, I read this book by Jeremy Riddle called The Reset uh, that really articulated this so well. I, I loved what Jeremy wrote, and he was very honest and authentic about his struggle with this and God just purifying some of these things. And so it really spoke to my heart, and really that song was birth. Tear it down out of that idea that we would tear down any idolatry, anything that is not of God out of our worship, purify our motives and, and look within. And so that's really where that song was birthed. And I, I worked on this song with Malachi and actually in here uh, several months ago, and we just kind of uh, completed it. But it was just really cool that that last verse that we sing, Jesus, we place all our desires at your feet. You're the only sacrifice we need. That that really is... Uh, really, my hope for this song, too, is that it would be um, not necessarily a congregational song, but it would just be a song that we would take a look in and God would uh, purify our motives in our worship.